welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY facial oil that is not greasy and will not make you look shiny on your face, but it will benefit and nourish your skin without making it look greasy or shiny. I hope that you guys will enjoy this video. Let's get started. The first oil in my non-greasy facial oil recipe is hemp seed oil. Hemp seed oil is amazing for your skin. It also has a comedogenic rating of zero, which means that it will not clog your pores. Comedogenic ratings just means how likely something is to clog your pores. And on a scale of zero to five, hemp seed oil is zero. Also happens to be one of the best moisturizing oils out there because it penetrates into the skin cells, nourishing them and making them plump. It's also an amazing emollient. Hemp seed oil is great for any skin type since it is very versatile. Hemp seed oil can help to improve redness because of the antioxidants it contains, like vitamin E plus omega fatty acids like omega-3 and omega-6. It can also help with dry patches, itchiness, eczema, blotchy skin. Plus, hemp seed oil is an amazing anti-inflammatory oil, so it can help to calm inflamed skin. My next non-greasy oil in my recipe is apricot kernel oil. Apricot oil is a lightly fragranced oil. I find it to be a very pleasant and sweet aroma. Apricot seed oil is packed with antioxidants like vitamin A, C, and E again. It's also very, very high in vitamin E, which is a powerful anti-aging antioxidant. It also has anti-inflammatory properties, which can help to soothe any irritated skin. I find that apricot seed oil is very inexpensive. I also find that apricot seed oil is readily available and you might be able to find it in most health food stores. The next oil in my DIY facial oil is rosehip seed oil. Rosehip seed oil is very, very high in antioxidants like vitamins A, C, and E. The vitamin A in rosehip oil is a natural retinoid, which you might have heard of if you are into anti-aging products. Retinoids help to speed cell turnover. Rosehip seed oil contains essential fatty acids like omega-3. It's also an amazing anti-aging oil because of all the antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties that it contains. This is a magnificent oil for your skin. I would highly recommend it. I would compare it to argan oil, except that this is much less expensive, I found. I found argan oil to be very expensive, and rosehip seed oil is very similar in properties to argan oil, except rosehip seed oil is much less expensive. Rosehip seed oil is high in vitamin C, which is an anti-aging antioxidant. My next non-greasy oil is jojoba oil. Now, technically jojoba oil is actually a liquid wax. Jojoba oil is a melted type of vegetable wax. It also has a very long shelf life, but I would still recommend putting it in the fridge. It's the only oil that closely resembles sebum on your skin. Human sebum is what the skin naturally produces to help naturally moisturize it. It's made in the oil glands beneath your skin. Jojoba oil is a very well-known and effective anti-aging and anti-inflammatory oil. The properties in jojoba oil can help to reduce redness, itchiness, flaking, and inflammation on the skin. The last two oils that I'm going to show you are absolutely optional because I have found them to be very expensive oils. They are very effective, nourishing, wonderful oils, but they can be a little bit pricey. So these are optional and I tend to use these two oils very sparingly because of that. The first optional oil I have here is tomato oil. Tomato oil is a very powerful anti-aging oil. Tomato oil has skin healing properties. It's also anti-aging, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and it has many antioxidant properties. Tomato oil comes from the tomato tree that comes from tropical Southeast Asia. It's also found in Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia, South India, and Sri Lanka. Some of the natives of these countries believe that the tomato tree is a sacred gift from nature, which I would have to pretty much agree with that. Tomato oil is very high in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties although I use this very sparingly because it is expensive. This is a very moisturizing oil, however, it does not make you look greasy at all. When I put this on my skin, it doesn't leave me looking greasy. It really just gives me a natural glow, similar to rosehip seed oil. This is a very green oil. Green pigment comes from the chlorophyll that is present in the oil itself, which is very beneficial for your skin. The next optional oil I have here is baobab oil. 
I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. If I am not, please let me know in the comments. Baobab oil is obtained from the seeds of the Adansonia tree. This tree is one of the most characteristic trees of Africa, often called the upside down tree because it looks as though it's growing roots upwards. The oil is viscous with a rich silky feel and a mild aroma. Baobab oil is an excellent moisturizer. Baobab oil is an excellent emollient for the skin, promotes rejuvenation of the skin cells, and is high in antioxidants that prevent the skin from free radical damage. The anti-inflammatory omega fatty acids plump the skin, giving a youthful look. The normal lifespan of a baobab tree is 500 years, with the oldest trees reaching the age of 5,000 years. Rich in vitamins A, E, and F, and sterols, Baobab oil quickly absorbs into the skin. It's also very stable from becoming rancid, although I would still recommend putting it in the fridge. That information came from mountainroseherbs.com if you'd like to check them out. It's not sponsored or anything, that's just where I got my information from the Baobab oil from. For this recipe, I'm using a clear two ounce dropper bottle. You can also use an amber bottle, but I decided just for the sake of the video so you can see the oils going into the bottle to use a clear bottle. For all of the oils, except for the two optional oils, I am using equal parts of the main oils. I'm not using exact measurements. Since I'm doing equal parts of the three main oils, I'm not doing exact measurements. But if you would like exact measurements, I'm using about a half a tablespoon per main oil. And for the two optional oils, I'm just adding three drops of each. So as I said before, these two oils are optional and you do not have to add these. My DIY non-greasy oil is great for any skin type. I would recommend it for anybody who is not allergic to tree oils. Always make sure to do a patch test before you put any of the oils all over your face or your skin, just to make sure you won't have a reaction to any of the oils. Here I put three drops of my facial oil onto my fingertips, and I'm going to show you how it looks on my bare skin. If you overdo this facial oil, it'll look greasy, but that really goes for any facial oil. I find that the right amount for my skin is three drops. This oil mixture gives my skin a dewy and healthy glow without making me look greasy or oily. I'm just showing you here how it looks in different lighting. Give this DIY a try and let me know how it goes. What do you guys think of my recipe? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what you think. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would really appreciate it if you guys could share this video on your Facebook and Twitter. It would really mean a lot to me if you guys could do that. Also share it with any of your friends who love natural DIY projects. I hope to see you in my next video next Sunday. Let me know if you try this oil in the comments section. If you would like to see more DIY hair and skincare on my channel, let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up and I will make sure to do those videos for you guys. Also, let me know what you think of my medieval inspired hairstyle today. I actually got this hairstyle from Luepsi on YouTube. I hope I see you guys again in my next video. Bye.